Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I want to discuss a bit about Cloudflare workers. So this will be a crash course on Cloudflare workers, what they are, how you can set up your first worker on Cloudflare, and a little bit about this Wrangler 2 CLI tool as well. So Cloudflare has been on fire. I mean, in releasing a lot of new features, there has been a full stack week going on on Cloudflare. And these guys are releasing features like crazy. So I believe it, it, it makes a lot of sense that we pay them some respect by actually covering a few of their tooling over here as well on Coda. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. So in this video, the purpose of this video is to showcase you how powerful workers are and workers are essentially Lambda functions, like AWS has Lambda functions concept, but in a different environment. I have done a video on Node.js different runtimes available, JavaScript different runtimes available, where, where we cover about workers and AWS Lambda and Dino and a couple of more so feel free to check that out you could see it probably linked here in the youtube other videos but yeah that's that's where we are okay so let's start this video the first thing i'm going to do is because this wrangler 2.0 cli is still in beta so we would have to install it in a way yarn add wrangler i guess that's what they call it but we can just go to their github repository or you know just see here yeah wrangler beta and we can just access it from the node modules instead of installing it globally. Although it would make sense to install it globally once it's out of beta. But for the most part, the CLI things usually don't change a lot. So whatever syntax you're expecting with Angular beta would probably work with the stable release as well. But if anything changes, I'll let you know in the description. All right, so right off the box, we can see that Wrangler 2.0 CLI actually expects a 16.7 or greater node. So we can have a Node.js version, which is greater than that. There we go. Node 17 for the win. And uh, let's go ahead and try installing the CLI now. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is say yarn Wrangler init. And the name of my project let's say first worker it is so i'm just going to install it like this and it's going to create this pretty much a wrangler.toml file which includes the name and the compatibility date and compatibility date is also something which is like a new feature with cloudflare um, we can discuss it maybe in some other crash course but for now you can think about this as a way that cloudflare would allow you to use even older features which might break in the newer release as in older features of the runtime and lock it to a specific version right but you don't need to worry a lot about this all right so let's go ahead and build a very simple example just to get started and then we're gonna build on top of that so first thing first what i'm gonna do is actually go ahead and start writing with add event listener because the way cloudflare works cloudflare workers work is that it tries to stay very close to how the browser based apis work right and what they say over here is that we are adding a global listener of fetch and the way the syntax works is you say event.respond with and of course you can work here with javascript as well uh, with typescript as well and then you have to send a response object over here right so i'm gonna say my response object let's say is a hard-coded response and this is like again an api in javascript if you have never really used this that's fine because in most cases you don't really need to construct a response yourself but you would always have used something like data is fetch something right this is like window.fetch that that thing where you specify the method post and so on so the thing which this returns after awaiting obviously is when you say data.json or data.text that's that's effectively you are doing that on a response object right so this data over here is a response object Similarly, we already have the request coming from the client. All we need to do is actually construct a response object. And the way we do that is we can just specify the content which needs to go. And then in the headers part, we'll just say that because this is an HTML document, I'm going to specify the content type of text HTML, right? And over here, you can just say HTML string something like this and this html string could be a simple you know a simple document doc type html you can even skip 
the dock type and stuff that will work just fine but i mean that's fine if you just want to keep that as well i'm just gonna quickly say hello from codedam to cloudflare workers this is like a very simple document we have the response object and all we need to do is just say this response object over here this is like all it takes to create a very simple worker page this worker would be globally distributed and would be running across the world now the next question is how do you test this out and it is extremely easy with the version 2 of wrangler all you have to do is say yarn wrangler dev and then the name of the script in this case it's index.js so you write that you might need to authorize cloudflare to use your account if you are doing it for the first time with the cli but once you do that you're gonna see it just says you listening at this port number and over here you can see that it starts working all right so you can see you can now make some changes and start working and testing it eventually you're gonna have to give it a couple of refreshes i guess to just make it work but it should be working just fine okay once we have this figured out let's also see how you can publish this on cloudflare network so i'm gonna close this and start writing the command to publish this on the cloudflare network so that we get an actual url deployed here so i'm gonna go ahead and say yarn wrangler publish and the index.js name of the file right now we are just going to publish only one single file you can configure that with the stormal file if you're working on a more sophisticated project and the name for this is let's say first worker on cloudflare and hit enter and of course this will also ask you for your account and if it is already linked it will just check if the subdomain is registered it publishes it to workers.dev which is like a cloudflare owned domain and you can see in my case i already have a username and that particular you know this is the name which we specified and this username is already available to my my cloudflare account you would have to authorize yours but it's as simple as just writing a single command in the cli and basically just visiting this url once that is available so you can see it is instantly deployed on a live url and you can share this but obviously this script is not very useful so let's try to make some changes to the script to see another example of what can be done with cloudflare workers so we know that cloudflare actually runs on the edge these workers are actually running on the edge so we have the ability to tap into the geolocation of the person who's browsing the domain right so what we can do is build something on those lines and the information about the geolocation is in the location is request.cf so what is this request variable this request variable is pretty much what you, what you get out of the event so this request is event.request or rather you can just do something like this and then the location information is in request.cf right so just for fun if we just try to respond with and let's say this response this html string is a function and not a just a string i can just pass in my location and if i'm able to somehow just json or let me just go ahead and make this a pre just json dot stringify what we have in data and of course this is a template literal okay so if we try to do this with this work over here and if i try to publish this again all right within a few seconds this goes public and i can go ahead and refresh this on the main public domain and you can pretty much see all the information about where i am situated right now so of course this all this information is blurred but we can kind of like look at this data down here so you can see i'm india based i'm from new delhi you get all that information and this this could be like really helpful in terms of for example if you have a cloudflare worker deployed as a page for your purchasing power parity pricing page then this is like really useful because you don't have to make another http call your worker is the one which is running the closest to the user and it all automatically has all that information this would also be used as a kind of a proxy i guess because what cloudflare does allow you to do is fetch requests or fetch the resources within your own request right so cloudflare sits in the middle this worker and this connects to the internet on your behalf and then it redirects you back let's say i mean this is probably not a replacement for a proxy or anything but maybe 
for simple static pages it, it might be fine so let's say you want to have a redirection or a proxy event set for let's say reddit reddit.com right so what you can do is in terms of this response the response which you are constructing instead of doing it like this we actually construct the url so that we pretty much get everything in place so i say the url is new url request which is event dot request dot url over here this is the url which pretty much the person is writing in the browser itself like the full url my worker or cloudflare dot dev slash abc and whatever so from this url what we need to do is we need to extract out this particular path right and what we need to do is actually append that path to reddit.com so one way to do that is of course that we take out this path like i said and append it but a faster way for that is actually when you change the host name of this url itself because like i said this url would be constructed from this particular thing right my worker in our case it's basically this particular thing over here right so this would be constructed from this and then what we need to do is in our worker we need to replace this with reddit.com so all we have to do is just say url.hostname is reddit.com right and uh, the next thing is we need to fetch the data so i'm going to say fetch my url dot to string but it's not as simple as that because requests contain a lot of metadata as well right like headers and cookies and stuff like that so what you want to do ideally is you also want to pass the original request object which contains all the headers and all the post data and the body and stuff directly to the fetch right and this fetch is literally like very close to how the browser api works so this is this will work out just fine as well so you have the url converted you have the request converted this is gonna return you a promise and i mean you can await over here if you would like but you can specify a promise over here as well that will just work fine so this is all you need to do <laughs> to proxy all the data on reddit.com through your cloudflare worker let's see if this works out i'm gonna deploy this again Mm, and I guess Reddit already has some protection measures so that this this kind of proxying doesn't happen. So what we can do is probably try some other website like codedam.com because that's one website I'm sure that does not have this protection, at least for now. And I had to go to incognito because Reddit somehow set some cache in the browser. But you can see that it pretty much works just the way you would expect it to work with all the functionalities and everything working but on a Cloudflare proxy domain, right? The original domain is codedam.com, obviously, but over here, you can see this also works just beautifully fine, right? And I'm hoping that this also works, you know, in, in single page application navigation. And you can see like literally this is the main website. But the funny thing about this is if you're trying to build something like this, you can build your own codedam.com, maybe set up a domain, and make some changes over here which is like now it feels like we are heading into a phishing attack direction but i mean you can have some fun over here right if i replace this with google.com hopefully this should also work with google or maybe not like just like reddit google might have these restrictions in place that if the subdomain does not match the domain does not match the original one then it should probably just redirect on the main website and yeah it does so if you visit this domain it just redirects you to google.com but yeah i mean proxying like this obviously would not work for a lot of websites especially the larger ones because they already have those security measures in place but for smaller ones like codam this will work just fine so if your university or college has blocked codam for some reason i hope not but if it is then this is like one naughty way to get around that so yeah that's pretty much it for a crash course on cloudflare workers that's how you build something with workers deploy them very quickly with the cli and you know just do tons of amazing stuff with proxying and responding and creating apis with just workers and having a live public domain which is deployed worldwide within seconds i mean i love this fact about cloudflare that they focus a lot on you know just 
speed and performance and not only in terms of the end user but also in terms of the developer which is equally important but yeah that's my opinion on cloudflare workers especially the wrangler 2.0 cli which is also amazing in a lot of ways especially when we dive more into the developer side of things let me know what you think about cloudflare workers in general what do you feel about this video do you want to see more content around cloudflare let me know what you think and we can build something more probably a small course short course on youtube as well but that's all for this video i'm gonna see you in the next one really soon so make sure you comment down below what you're gonna see next on cloudflare if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of code dumps discord community you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching